Nine years after the foundation stone was laid, work on what is now called the Comer Stand in MNDC Park has been completed, bringing to an end redevelopment work which began at the ground back in 1993. Go United moved to the sports ground and then Glenina for the 1993-94 season as work got underway on redeveloping the ground, which involved a 90 degree alteration in the pitch layout, moving it from a north-south layout to an east-west one, as well as the construction of a clubhouse and two stands. The first match in the new look round was against Sligo Rovers on October 9, 1994, and the newly installed floodlights were switched on two weeks later for the visit of Cork City. Work then began firstly on the stand on the Torellan end of the ground, followed by the new stand on the city side. That second new stand was officially opened in July 2007, and the final phase of development, consisting of the UEFA standard dressing rooms, as well as offices and meeting rooms, has now been completed, and Tribune Sport was given exclusive access to the development to give sports fans a look at what the facilities entail. Hi, I'm Noel Connolly, Stadium Manager of Eamon DC Park and you're welcome to view our new facilities today. This is the players entrance where the players enter on match day. On our left is the Galway District Football League office where all Galway football is administered, all local fixtures are done. Um, the staff of three helping out there on that. Further in the hall we go to the away dressing room. All dressing rooms are done to UEFA standard, size wise, facilities, showers, tiles wise. So match day office where sound and PA and scoreboard are controlled from. It also doubles up as a community employment office during the week. Uh, Match officials is two, which would be for female, female linesmen or um, if you have a mixture of ladies and gents on the officials team. This is the main officials ref room for caterers up to four. Next room is the main home team dressing room, set up for match day. Next room is the drug medical first aid room, which is a requirement for all League of Ireland and international games for in case we have a drug testing unit call or we have to have separate facilities for those. And also on match days, it doubles up as a first aid room. That completes the main long corridor underneath the Comer stand. Um, all facilities on the left, also on the right, we have a number of storage areas. Uh, we also have a small laundry room on the ground for all the local going district league kit is washed and um, cleaned and get ready for a match day from under 12 all the way up to Oscar trainer side. Uh, this is the uh, meeting hospitality room it's used for meetings with all the local committees, football and club. Uh, also doubles up as a match day hospitality area. We've got plenty of photos and paraphernalia of uh, players that were played for the club down the years and for the going district league and all the visiting teams that have played here. Uh, this is the main pitch stadium entrance to the playing surface. Both teams come from left and right and generally follow the referee out onto the playing pitch on match day. Um, uh, the pitch behind me was laid in 1995, uh, re was realigned. Uh, it used to run north-south, now it's a direction of east-westerly direction. Um, it's a sand-based pitch, we, year, 
we every year lay about 100 ton of sand on it to keep the quality of the surface up. It's been the, one of the top surfaces in the country for the last number of years in uh, the mid to late 90s and into the into 2004 or 5 it was classed as the best surface in the country. Uh, we're just trying to get back to that uh, level again. We, we play a lot of games here. All the going district league finals are played here, upwards of 100 and more. This year actually we had 106 games. So it's difficult to keep the standard to the height that we really want to achieve. But uh, this year we're getting there. Um, the weather has been suitable for, for growing a good quality surface with all the next year rain we've got in the west of Ireland and uh, some sunshine. But uh, the stadium itself has two stands, one which was laid in 97, it holds 1,700 seats and uh, the new Comer stand was opened in 2007 and that has 1,504 seats. Um, the dressing rooms, as I say, open this year underneath, uh, built to UEFA standard and uh, can cater for any level of game up to under uh, international under 21. Uh, with these facilities now in place we hope to have more of these games coming on stream uh, just last month we played the under 21's Irish side here played in England uh, select and um, we we'll hopefully have an announcement of some more international games coming later this year